And I said, I'm not gonna screw this up. When Tina Knowles married actor Richard Lawson, it all seemed perfect for eight years until the red flags started showing in 2023. But what were these red flags and why didn't Tina see them? Let's break it down. On July 17th of last year, a Dish Nation video served up some tea about Richard's secret life on social media. But first, they announced, it's a sad day for the Beehive because Tina and Richard were calling it quits. The Dish Nation crew dropped some crazy facts about Tina that some didn't even know. But first, they dished out one shocking thing about Richard. Users on the former Twitter platform had done their homework and found alleged proof of Richard's wild Twitter likes. Richard must have known something bad was coming because the Dish On Air crew also reported breaking news that he'd deactivated his Twitter that morning. The host suspected that Richard went MIA on social media because they found his likes. Allegedly, Richard liked a lot of footage that could not be shown on a family show like Dish Nation. That is crazy, but what's even crazier is what Tina wanted to do about her last name. Dish confirmed that Tina had cited the usual irreconcilable differences in her divorce filing. When she married Richard, she also changed her legal name from Celestine Knowles to Celestine lost him. Now that the marriage was going up in smoke, Tina made a drastic decision. As the Dish host reported, Tina wanted her last name restored to Knowles. That decision didn't sit well with some of them and co-host Gary Hayes complained. That really peeves me off. Gary's opinion was, why would Tina want that old name back after she divorced Matthew? Shockingly, Gary thought that Tina should legally go back to the name Celestine Beyonce. As the other host protested, co-host Carlos King backed Gary up, revealing that Beyonce is actually Tina's original last name. One of the main reasons why Tina gave Beyonce her first name is because, as Gary put it, she wanted to carry the name over. Atlanta Black Star revealed a whole lot more this year in an extensive article published on August 15th, beginning with their shocking headline that Tina was being forced to pay her ex-husband amid their finalized divorce. This article confirmed that Tina and Richard had been separated for over a year and their divorce settlement involved dividing substantial assets between the two of them. Atlanta Black Star also confirmed that Tina and Matthew were married for over 30 years, while Richard was previously married to his first wife, actress Denise Gordy, for over a decade. They didn't have any kids together. Atlanta Black Star mentioned an In Touch report published on the same day. In Touch's exclusive promised some juicy details with the headline, Tina Knowles divorce settlement revealed $300,000 lump sum. No speaking negatively about Beyonce or Blue Ivy. In Touch confirmed that Tina agreed to pay Richard a massive one-time lump sum. The outlet got a copy of the court documents and they spilled all the tea. Tina is 70, Richard is 77, and she filed for divorce on July 25th, 2023, a day after officially separating from him. The finalized divorce mentions the irremediable breakdown of the marriage, making it impossible for the parties to live together as husband and wife. While this all sounds like legal speak, another clause of this divorce agreement raises a huge red flag. It's called a non-disparagement clause, and that means Richard has been banned from speaking negatively about Tina her children, and their spouses. So does that mean that Tina thinks Richard would throw major shade at her family given the chance? He'll be in trouble if he does because their divorce agreement says he can never discuss Tina or her family members when asked by any media or person, whether verbally or in writing. At least Richard agreed that Tina didn't have to pay him spousal support other than the more than quarter million lump sum. Richard also scored some interesting wins in this settlement, like a 2021 Cadillac Escalade. Richard gets to keep all the money in several bank and retirement accounts and all money owed to Richard Lawson Studios, including all roles he's earned. Tina walked away with a 2018 Tesla and a 2020 Bentley. She also keeps sole possession of her LA home and a property in Texas, including all furniture in her properties, all jewelry in her possession, her retirement accounts, and all earnings she accumulated since the date of separation. Atlanta Black Star reported that fans of The Neighborhood Talk started a lively discussion online after they reported on Tina's settlement. Many wondered why Tina had paid Richard so much, and some fans threw shade. One fan criticized Richard for accepting the settlement. They wrote, being a man and asking for money in a divorce is so embarrassing, especially when you're an entertainer. Another person agreed, writing, why does she have to pay him? Someone else joked, he said, I'm leaving here with something. Still, other fans shockingly thought that Tina wasn't paying enough. Her net worth is reportedly $25 million, and one person wrote that a $300,000 lump sum was Dollar Tree money. Oh please, that's nothing to her. 
Atlanta Black Star confirmed that fashion designer Tina is substantially wealthier than Richard. Based on the intel from Celebrity Net Worth, they estimated his net worth to be around $1 million. The search term red flags in Tina Knowles' marriage brings up a ton of results online, and Atlanta Black Star mentioned one cringy moment between Tina and Richard back in 2018. They appeared on the popular series Black Love on the OWN network, and Tina spilled the tea about her feelings for Richard and their relationship. Tina confessed she had prayed for the type of man she wanted. It began getting awkward when she added, I got pretty much that. Then Tina dropped the bombshell. She claimed that Richard was absolutely not perfect, adding, but you know, he has a lot of the qualities. If you didn't see this go down, you should have seen the look on Richard's face. He responded with a grimace, asking Tina, no, after she revealed that he wasn't perfect. Tina didn't miss a beat either, repeating, no right back to him. The day after Tina filed for divorce, Atlanta Black Star reported that fans thought that she missed all the red flags. Their first red flag was that Black Love interview. One fan who watched the cringy clip wrote online, I mean the writings were on the wall for Tina and Richard. But a few fans went even deeper with a conspiracy theory. According to Atlanta Black Star, some fans zoomed in on Tina and Richard's facial expressions throughout the interview and claimed to see unresolved issues within the marriage back then. Another red flag involves Kelly Rowland. Did you see Kelly's Catwoman Halloween costume when she posted photos on social media back in October 2022? Richard saw them and his comment went viral for its cringe factor. Richard commented on Kelly's Instagram that her costume was borderline soft adult only material. As Atlanta Black Star reported, he got a ton of negative responses from Instagram users. Eagle-eyed fans also wondered why Richard was MIA during Beyonce's highly anticipated Renaissance World Tour. Tina was seen at many of Beyonce's concert dates in Europe. When video surfaced of her alone, fans wondered if the couple was either already separated or on the road to separation. The last red flag that the Atlanta Black Star reported surfaced again within hours of the divorce announcement. This red flag goes back to what the Dish Nation host spilled in their video. Atlanta Black Star confirmed that Richard's former Twitter account had been de deactivated, but a user had screen recorded his likes in a video. This allegedly proved that Richard liked salacious tweets and was into some pretty shocking videos, leading to another conspiracy theory. Fans began to speculate that Richard might have a thing for something shocking, and that became the cause of his divorce. Someone commented on social media that Richard should have known Twitter likes are public. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Should Tina have spotted all these red flags a long time ago? Let me know in the comments below.